Hello friends and welcome to episode 8 of Storyteller Plays Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we unlocked Lady Sneasler here. In this episode, I start by speaking to you from inside of this basket. Let us go. Makes sense that I can't... Whoops. Makes sense that I can't throw balls from inside of Sneasler's basket. But I should still be able to throw balls from Weird Ear's back. Climb it. I can't remember what those are good for, but I'm going to pick them up anyway. It's not like I'm very limited on inventory space. Recently spent a hundred thousand increasing it by like three slots. Which means we are golden. I just finished my last recording. So I've not had time to do any research tasks with Cyndaquil. I will evolve her, I promise. Yeah? Whoa there! That could have hurt. Okay, let's see what Gligar is weak to. That I have only Wave Crash. Defeated Gligar. What's that? Oh, just Grit Dust. Yeah, I know you can evolve, Cyndaquil. Give me, like, a month. I'll evolve you, I promise. I can't use you until you're a ghost type, which makes completing research tasks hard. <gasps> Look, it's a Magnezone! Magnezone is not a ghost type, so I cannot use it. Or at least not for progression. <gasps> a Haunter! Can I make any wing balls? Even better! No, I'm just gonna make wing balls. Those are a bit overkill. Don't turn around. Okay, whatever you do, just don't pop up on top of me. Oh, look, another Haunter. And is that a lost satchel? It's a good thing Haunter stayed in the ball, otherwise it would attack me. And Prosperity, please stop dying. It does remind me of a meme that I saw in the early days of Pokemon Legends Arceus. And it's like, if your name is... Oh, it saw me. Oh well. I'll just KO this one. I think I have to defeat them with Ghost-type moves anyway. Or is it Dark-type? We'll find out. Rest in pieces. Did that complete any research tasks? Plus one other. Nope, I think if I have to fight those with Ghost-types, it would tell me. Tell me. I don't words very good. I should also focus. I need to quell this frenzy, uh, frenzied noble, if I'm going to unlock an outfit that I want. Climb. Shh. It's a gibble. Okay, gibble. I wanted to be nice, but you forced my hand. I'm twice a level, so they should knock you out. Mm, sleep well. Oh, nice grit dust. Every single time I've done those things where, like, I catch five pages of Pokémon, I've released almost all of them. Well, hello there. I was going to see what kind of research tasks were involved with you, but, uh... Okay, good. It didn't stay in the ball. I clearly wanted to stay in the ball. Do you like grain cakes? The most normal of cakes. It's skeptical of the offering. Oh. Well, it doesn't dislike grain cakes. I'm gonna get into the grass just to be safe. Oh, come on, stay in the ball. You were green, that was basically good to go. Oh, let me heal up Vivi real quick. Not not because I'm planning on taking on the... One more. There we go. Okay, Vivi, let's kill it. Ow. No, I want to keep this one. I'll try not to kill it. But do get its health down. 
Yeah, I can't do that one more time. Ouch. That hit pretty hard, considering it's not, it's not a super effective move. I was going to try to hypnosis it, and then I remembered I don't have Gengar in my party. There we go! Number cut, Gabite 1. Alpha specimen. Oh, hey, look, it's a. Uh... What the hell is its name? I can't remember the name of that Pokemon. Mm, Dialga. And then there's Palkia. And then Giratina's around here somewhere. But that statue is smashed. Because Giratina Fox. I, I don't know why I said that. Occasionally, I just say things. But I have to catch myself pretty quickly. I'm like, don't say that. And what if I can't catch myself in time? I will say the stupidest shit. You know how it is. What's in the chest? A nugget! Okay, sneaking around. Sneaking around. I'm saving the majority of these. Yes. Let me just... It's asleep, so I don't want to wake it. Let me just touch this. Thank you. And that woke it up somehow. Run! Is there a Pokemon in this chest? I don't have time for you, Gligar. Oh, it's a little Voltorb. Of course, the Gligar is staying for the party. Let me go ahead and just finish this guy off. That's probably not going to be enough to do it. Just barely not. Good job, Vivi, avoiding the attack. Well, Vivi is an evasion pro. Let me go ahead and try to catch this Gligar real quick. I know I try not to get super distracted, which is exactly what I'm doing. Okay, Gligar, stay in the ball. Thank you. You have no reason not to. Oof. Stay strong, Vivi. Oh, good, she didn't get poisoned. I mean, not poisoned, paralyzed. That's a little bit too strong, Vivi. Oh well. Ooh, salt cakes. Bean cakes. All of those drops were from the treasure chest. Not the Voltorb. This, is, this doesn't involve you, Nose Pass. Run! Ooh, another treasure chest. I might cut a lot of that out, because I could not be more sidetracked if I tried. Run! Ooh, a Voltorb! I think this statue is Giratina. What have they done to my boy? Hello there, Melly. I don't suppose you will rest my Pokémon for me before we battle? No, I trust Melly to be very sportsman-y. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Moon... Oh, yeah. Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode. I know I've not exactly been supportive of your reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. And call me contradictory if you'd like. You, uh, contradictory all you like. Galaxy Grunt, but such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Sinnoh. And right now, that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. If you still wish to defeat me and gain entry to Electrode's seat, you and your little Pokémon are welcome to give it your best shot. Let's go, Skuntank. Give them another whiff to your silent deadliness. A whiff of your silent deadliness.
Go Vivitza. Okay, girl, you're probably going to die pretty quickly. But let's give them a run for their money. Let's see here, it's level 22. Level 22. Let's attack the skunk tank. Let's go with a strong, dazzling gleam, which in other games would attack all of them at once, but whatever. Agile style. Rest in peace, Vivi. You've done your part admirably. Although, you've got to be careful, because I don't have a lot of ghost types. Come on, Milk Stash. Oh no, it's super effective. Zubat decided not to participate. Come on, Milk Stash. Wave Crash. Way to go, girl. Scorpy decided not to participate. Why do they keep doing that? Let's go ahead and Zen Headbutt on the Scorpy. I guess it's Scorupy. Why would you use Gust? There is no way you don't know Bite. Battle decided. Melee, either you have poor control over your Pokémon, or you are an idiot. Possibly both. Let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. I just lack, er, uh, time. Yes, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokémon nice and strong. Ah, could this be why Adamant is always going on and on about being, uh, time being a precious thing? My word, the Diamond Clan and Almighty Sinnoh truly are never-ending fonts of wisdom. Yes, yes. I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make some bombs for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Because I have completely forgotten what Electrode likes. Yeah, no, you're not fooling anyone. What's the matter? Upset? Too bad anger doesn't make bombs. Melee's really giving you the runaround, isn't he, Yore? I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electrode lacks, and so here is the... Adaman! What now? I could hear you just now, you know. Are you really going to tell this little noodle what she find, er, what she needs to find, just like that? Lest we forget, you are the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Millie. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you feel the twinge of how it suffers, fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but a Pokémon overcome with joy at being among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Anyway, it's not like trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. I'm sorry, Millie. I can't write these frenzies off as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help out Yure here. This is bigger than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't going to tell her what she needs. Er, tell her that she needs crunchy, crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to her. Now's the time to make some bombs, so lend a hand, both of you. Fine. At the end of the day, let none say that the great Millie shirked his resp er, sh shirked his duties as warden. I'll help you make your precious bombs. There, I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs. So chuck all you like at Electrode. Can I chuck a few at Millie? But don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. Yeah, I'll heal my Pokémon for me. Let's go. So, even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pit yourself against Electrode. Yep. Heh. <laughs> You've a great deal more pluck than you have sense, I'll give you that. A word of advice, don't stop moving while you're battling Electrode, or you'll be dead in no time. 
Thanks for the friendly advice, Melly. Now oh, that's Melly. That's not an electrode, Yure. That's a tree. Those are uh, Voltorbs. That's an electrode. Lord of the Hollow, Electrode. Okay, let's go. I'm going to want to lock onto it. If I can get close enough to lock onto it. There we go. Ow. Bad timing. More bad timing. Really not a lot of time to think doing this, is there? Come on. Uh oh. No time to hold still. Those balls of electricity do not let up, do they? Good job, Vivi, outspeeding the electrode. Oh, it survived. Using an agile style. Thunder Wave. All that did was paralyze me. And it's using thunder. That did very little. Okay, Vivi, don't let paralysis slow you down. Girl, what did I just say? So you're too paralyzed to attack it, but you're not so paralyzed that you can't dodge. Vivi. This is why I don't send out my Pokémon. I love them dearly. But you can really just not do this part. Come on. Oh, these blue lightning balls are faster. Run! I do wish they would let up. This feels kind of cheap, Electrode. And the way that both of those hit me at the same time, super cheap. Can I throw bombs at these? No. If I could throw bombs at them to dispel them, that would make this a lot easier. In a positive way. Oh, let me heal up Vivi real quick. Just to save time, I'll use one of these. Go, Vivi! That's not Vivi. Oh, I missed my window. Oh well. I don't need it. I'll probably take the next opening, even though it's unnecessary. Stop with these electricity balls. Being chased by balls. No, oh, I don't want to be so close to you. Yeah, this is not a good place to hang out. Run for it. I'll be ready to send Vivi out this time. Although it's unnecessary. Lord is super close to death anyway. 
This'll go by quickly, Vivi, if you don't get paralyzed again. Now look at that, same cheap tricks. Okay, Vivi, you're paralyzed, but that doesn't mean you have to not attack. Let's go. That's my girl. And we won! Unfortunately, I've still only got the one hitless run going. A lot of poorly timed rolls. I should really do Cyndaquil's uh, research tasks. I got the zap plate from Electrode. I wonder why sometimes, but only sometimes, Yurei holds up the plates. Oh, for shame! What utter calamity! I agreed to make those accursed bombs, yes, but now that Almighty Sinnoh's precious blessing has vanished forever, it's so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electrode looks relieved to me. Glad its suffering ended, probably. Oh, come on, Adamant, seriously. That's just your wishful thinking, nothing more. All your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit. But if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry with me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. I arrived right on schedule. Now, what did you bother coming back for? Only to say that I recall some things after Yurei did me the honor of traveling with me. Things to do with the world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. Most people there caught Pokémon, lived with them, formed supportive partnerships with them. And then there were the Pokémon trainers. The ones we call Pokémon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked toward the, the next challenge and had Pokémon battles every chance they got, all to help themselves and their Pokémon grow. Through battle, trainers forged bonds of understanding with their Pokémon, and with their opponents and their Pokémon too. With everything, I suppose. If Pokémon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokémon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Is that what... Uh, is your world like Ingo described too, Yore? It sure was. I'd never have thought such a world could exist. Oh, once again the brilliant Warden Melly has realized something rather clever. If not just my... Uh, it's not just my Pokémon they need to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokémon can reach their potential. I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be pleased once I achieved exactly that. Hey Adamant, share with me again the wisdom Almighty Sinnoh passed down among our clan. All right, all right, open your ears, shut your big mouth, and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger, for offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger, bring not almighty Sinnoh to sorrow, for that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. Bravo, excellent. Please, all of you, do your best and run towards the destination and uh, at an even higher state. I can read, I promise. Of course, your higher state is clear, Yore. It surely lies with the next lord. Now, this time, I will... Uh, I will... Uh, now, this time, I will really make the complete return trip to Jubilife Village. Perhaps with someone like Yure to show that Pokémon need not be feared, the people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander Kamado my report. Until next time, Yure. Can we find a way to honor our past while also forging a better future? 
Maybe that's what Almighty Sinnoh really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time, and it created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Report to Kamado. That I will. Let me go ahead and... Yes, hello, are you who I'm looking for? How what am I going to do? At this rate, I'll never fool myself... Er, I'll make a real fool of myself in front of Conlon. Conlon. Er, hello, you one of those Survey Corps, right? Ah, you might actually be just the person I need. Yep, what are you looking for? Prelude Beach, find the ghosts. Yes. Yep, I'm afraid his little heart set. Fellow can't stay afraid of ghosts forever. Yes, so you need to study up on ghosts. Yeah, I can help you. And check out the page for Ghastly. I'm not reading any of this. Ellipsis, ellipsis. Mushrooms, eh? Well, I'll be. It says here that Ghastly likes to eat mushrooms of all things. Not that that's a bad thing, mind. It's just a lot more tame than I was expecting. And Hero was thinking that ghosts loved nothing more than to snack on unsuspecting humans. You know, it's funny, I'm actually rather partial to a nice mushroom stew myself. Maybe Ghastly aren't so ghastly after all. Hey, Dad, what you doing here? Ah, calm them. You're talking about work again? Don't forget, you gotta take the day off tomorrow. You promised you'd take me to see the ghosties at Prelude Beach, remember? Of course your old dad remembers, kiddo. And I've never let work get in the way of your ghost hunt. Really looking forward to it. Yay, I'm gonna catch a ghostie and show it to all my friends. Bye! You know, he was just putting on a brave face because you were here. Anyway, I owe you one, kid. Get the feeling my boy will be just fine tomorrow. Yes. Oh, a linking cord. Thank you. Uh, I've got a couple of those. I don't even need them. Anyway, completing that quest. If I come over here. Yep, uh, about your request. Can I accomplish that? No, no, I can't. Anyway, let's buy some clothing. So over here, there should be a new outfit, if I can find it. It's definitely in here somewhere. Here we go. Spooky. Yep, put that on now. Spooky bottoms, put that on now. Now, the biggest problem is finding shoes that go with this outfit. This looks fine. Actually, what does purple look like? No. No, purple doesn't work. Let's go with, um, Dark Slate. Real quick. What do you want, Red? Hmm, no, that's not quite right. Just need a little extra something. Oh, just the girl I need. I could use some help coming up with new hairstyles. A Pokemon would be great inspiration. How about a Mistrevis? I just had a Mistrevis. If I could study a Mistrevis up close, yep. Well, it's too late for that now. I will get you a Mistrevis. But I evolved mine. Real quick, let me do up my hair. There we go. Now, I can go report my whatever to Kamado. Mm, so many people want my help. So many people to ignore. Okay, I'm joking. Probably do a video that's just quests. Long one. Just quests. Maybe two videos. Possibly three? Hmm. So Warden Melly believes the frenzies of these lords are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh? We cannot know if this is the case or not, but it does beg the question, why ever would this Almighty Sinnoh drive its nobles to frenzy? Is it angered by something? Or does it seek to derive a wedge between people and Pokémon? Or far it be from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokémon? And what is that space-time rift, anyway? What caused it to open? 
Hmm. But you must be tired. Go on, then, to the Wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. Dinner's on Kamara tonight. Eat your fill. I don't think I've ever paid for food. Well, what an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. Oh, that's Leventon. This is generous for the boss. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less onerous task. Or at least a less dangerous task. But can we talk about how you've gone from being some nobody from nowhere to basically the hero of Hesui? Indeed, and taking on such perilous duties has earned you the great deal of trust, Yurei. Or earned you a great deal of trust. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Yurei, and your message is clear as day. It does not matter w uh, one whit where you come from. You are part of the Survey Corps in Jubilife Village now. The next day. Isn't this... Er, isn't it nice getting up early? Oh, that was Adam and... Isn't it nice getting up early? Is it? Well, not as if getting up early changes what you do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Kamado's, er, Commander Kamado's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got the same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Mm, come on, no need to grouse up, er, grouse so much over a nice little early wake up. Are you coming too? We'll see. Uh, I'm sure we'll. Uh, I'm sure we all can guess what Kamado wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. You've er, uh, you've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. On to the next one. <clears throat> When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I feared what would come of a, become of us, but here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never stops surprising you. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. He is almost the largest er he is also the largest of the nobles, according to what Irida told me. Our mission is to quell Avalog, the final lord. And prepare er perhaps in doing so we may trigger some change in the space time rift as well. Yes, perhaps. Avalog may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan is in the galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Icelands. Until then. I don't know why I keep taking screenshots. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokémon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many people as possible, and to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. Can I hurry up and get to the Icelands so I can end this episode? My housemate will be awake soonish. Gyaa! Don't know, it's a giant demon. Hey, could you give that to the guard outside? Abra, teleport this Wormple outside at once! Mm, thank you, Abra. Also, don't think I didn't see you glitching out. Ahem. So you are to survey the Alabaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous claim, er, climb you'll face in all of history. 
It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps I can task with surveying the Alabaster Islands. You know your orders. See your mission through. Hey there, Abra. Abba. Ababa to you too. Okay, let's go. Actually, you know what? There's no way those two dorks aren't going to try to talk to me. I don't know how long I've got until my house might wakes up. I'm going to end this episode here. Start recording episode 8 or 9, whatever the hell episode this is. I think this is 8. So I'll start recording 9. Just get to the Icelands. Wait until people stop talking to me. End the video. Or stop recording. Start recording again later. Part 1, I call it. Anyway, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Farewell.